1645, <laughs> Prince Rupert Smurst was smashed Cromwell's left flank at Naseby. And in 1871, the Franco-Prussian War ground to a halt at the Siege of Metz. And in 1903, from the Kyles of Butte, came the first report of an outbreak of Sporran Rash. <laughs> None of this, of course, has got anything at all to do with the act, but it shows how your mind wanders when you're worried. <laughs> mind you, the last time I appeared at the Palladium, I had the audience with me all the way. Luckily, I shook him off at Watford. <laughs> it's always difficult to know what to do on these occasions. I mean, in the days of the old music hall, comedians would walk on a stage wearing a red nose and blowing raspberries. They would, of course, on reflection, third-rate inferior performers destined for theatrical obscurity. Tonight, to enhance my claim as a cultural performer, I should like to play for you on the piano forte not one, but two numbers. The first one is a classical rendition in an 18th century drawing room, swiftly followed by the theme from Love Story. Thank you for your indulgence. <laughs> You must forgive me if I appear emotional this evening, but it's a long time since I last appeared on this theatre, on the stage of this wonderful theatre. I forget the exact date now, but it was the same year that Her Majesty the Queen got married. Because I remember turning to the producer of the show at the time and saying I hope she'll be very, very happy with Prince Albert. <laughs> In conclusion, before I march briskly to the tower, may I just leave you With this thought, if the world gets you down and you feel that perhaps you're not getting the best from life, always remember that somewhere there is someone who is worse off than yourselves. Me. Good night. God bless. <laughs>